what role does open source play in location technology, and how do you see that role evolving? Um, I would say for location technology specifically, um, like mapping, and it mapping can be very complicated, and also the world is not the same. Um, so open source is really there to basically connect everything together. So you have all different, you have a vibrant ecosystem of various uh, libraries uh, that basically really help you uh, um, from taking data from various sources, from say government sources, and it helps you then convert it so you can render it on your map and then parsing. So this is where uh, open source is really, the, it helps you. The world is complex and the world, especially in location, uh, people think the world is simple most of the time. No, the world, every, everybody now, everything is different. And with open source, you can really um, get the right pieces to connect everything together and, and, and really create beautiful things and really get context out of your location and a better, better understanding of, of what, what is happening. And you can really use it to, to actually connect the various pieces to, um, um, together. And I see that the, the community is, 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 is growing and growing, even uh, your technologies. We're now uh, slowly uh, increasing our, our, um, our presence in the open source um, community. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to the work that's coming. And later this year, we will make further announcements uh, in the open source space. And um, yeah, and so far, the community has been had a great, like the open, especially the, the, the people that were in the open source location sp space, it, they've been so welcoming uh, to us, basically, uh, doing more things in the, in the open source space. And can you talk a little bit more about here Technologies' contributions to open source? So, um, and so of course, we are um, um, a lo location company. Uh, so most of the people um, know us from our, our maps. So um, we recently open sourced uh, a 3D uh, mapping engine uh, called HarpGL, which is based on, on, tr on 3GS. And that's what you can use to render maps on the web. That's one of the things which we are uh, showing here at OSCON. Uh, but we're also basically, as, as a, a company, we also want to be a, a, a good open source citizen. So we also have um, projects like, for instance, Open Source Toolkit, which is a uh, project that allows you to see the, uh, the, the licenses and security vulnerabilities for your open source, and it's completely open source. Um, and, and then we have, s uh, in that project, for instance, we work together in a another project called Clearly, De Clearly Defined. Um, and so we're really trying to, and that, that project is focused on, on basically uh, getting the open source data, all the licenses, and scanning and all stuff. So we, what we're really trying to do is be a good open source citizen and, and really look at where, what can we do to, to help the open source community. Um, and yeah, so far it has, it has, been, it has been great. Um, and um, I said, we're, we're Relatively early in our journey, but uh, we we have some projects already that are that are really kicking off and really becoming bigger and bigger. Um, uh, so yeah, that's that it's that's our main pro that's our main projects that I would say the two ones we have we have a lot more, but <laughs> that's the one things the two ones that I m mostly uh, uh, focus on for for now, and so there's more no more to come. What what uh, projects are you most excited about right now? Most excited. Um, ooh, I have so many things that like. Yeah, it's, it's it's really funny. Me as head of open source, you would think that I mostly do management and other stuff, but I actually I am an open source guy. Uh, so I actually work and contribute on pro on the project. So yeah. Um, so my own like so one of the own projects. So um, open source toolkit. I actually contribute to that. I actually write some of the the, the front end code, um, but also. Uh, and as, as I said, um, I work on, on, on clearly defined uh, collaboration. I work in the in the to-do group. So the to-do group is a is a um, um, working group on the Linux Foundation where companies work together in open source. So one of the things where I'm contributing with it to is basically really helping companies, specifically in Europe, uh, to learn more about open source. Like it's there's no manual for for companies or large organizations to do open source. So I'm contributing a lot uh, to basically help co these companies come on board, understand open source, how what does it do? It's like, there, especially for companies, there are some other challenges that people might realize, like how do you contribute at a, at a company at scale? What, what if we have thousands of developers that want to contribute? 
how do you how do you how do you do that? Um, and so that's that's one of the things that uh, I'm, I'm working together. And we really have a good collaboration. So other contributors to that space are, are Bosch, Siemens, um, SAP, and and together with them, they were basically really trying to. Um, create a platform where basically companies that want to do open source but really do not know how to do it in first stuff to really to say like hey here are other companies that already have done it uh, we have meetings every 90 days come and join us and any question you have you come join so that's one of my contributions where I, I contribute a lot on the documentation and onboarding outreach uh, so it's not only code that I contribute, but also like uh, like that is also there's also the community aspect. Like not all contributions have to be code. Uh, you can also perfectly contribute uh, by just contributing documentation or basically making the connections or do public speaking. Those are also uh, contributions. Right. And so taking a broader view, how do you uh, expect to see open source evolve over the next few years? Um, I would say I think that one of the trends that I'm currently seeing is that basically, as most people know, software is eating everything. Mm -hmm. But um, what you now see is that the big industrial players, which you never imagined, so these are like the, these are companies that usually like make shape things out of metal the, uh, and uh, that you would normally not expect to, to basically all of a sudden become open source friendly. But that, that's the trend that we're now seeing, that basically industrial players um, like I recently had a conversation, one of the companies that I was speaking to, they make uh, pressure valves. And then you don't realize that, uh, yeah, there's software for these pressure valves. And there's every, and yeah, that that's actually is powered by Linux. <laughs> and so that's what you now see is that companies that you would never expect, uh, that you think, oh, this is all just metal parts and all these precision parts. No, there's a lot of software involved, and you now see these companies also becoming aware of open source and understanding the importance of open source. So, and then what you then see is then, then the next thing is like things that you never imagine, like, oh, hang, this is now also becoming open source, and like, really, like, oh, <laughs> I never expected that there could be open source. But yeah, it's it's like open source is the perfect method to, to collaborate together and, and the world is, is a complex place um, so open source is the perfect vehicle for that to basically reuse block piecings that are already there so that basically you can offer uh, uh, solutions for the complex problems that we have in this world well thank you very much for talking with me today you're welcome <laughs>